Hey there, Overwatch fans. Season 4 of Overwatch 2 is just around the corner, so today we're talking about what you can expect to see in Overwatch 2 Season 4. Timestamps are on the screen and in the description. Let's get into it. One of the most significant things you can get excited about the next season is the introduction of the new tie support, Wife Lever. Life Weaver. Although many content creators have mentioned what Life Weaver does and is able to do, we recently have gotten an update on Twitter from Aaron Keller, the director of Overwatch 2. This tweet states that before the character has even gotten released, he has been buffed. Many speculate that what Life Weaver may be a hero that almost everyone is going to be picking in season four due to his vast versatility and his abilities to pull teammates out of danger. Now with this healing buff, he might be able to run games that much more. I should note that this has happened with Ramatra as well, and everyone thought he was going to be absolutely broken. However, on release, the hero was balanced and a little underwhelming compared to the absolute powerhouse that he was speculated to be. Blizzard has released the experimental patch notes which will be implemented when Season 4 releases on Tuesday, April 11th at 2pm Eastern Time. Because of all the changes, I'll only be talking about the main ones instead of the smaller things. Reinhardt is losing 45 effective HP. Armor has a 30% damage reduction, so 50 armor being removed is actually 65 effective HP. This 65 EHP is getting replaced with 25 normal HP, thereby reducing his EHP to 45. Cassie's grenade damage is getting reduced. This reduction from 131 damage to 120 means that if Cassidy hits a body shot and throws a grenade, the grenade will not kill, thereby reducing his one shot and massive burst damage capabilities. Sigma is losing his one shot combo as Accretion's impact damage is getting reduced from 60 to 40 damage. This means that Sigma will no longer be able to use Accretion followed by primary fire and secure kills on 200 HP targets. Brigida's rally is getting a complete overhaul. If you want to see each individual change, feel free to pause and read the patch notes on the screen. In short, Rally will give overhealth to her teammates, but not Brigida herself. This overhealth is getting replaced with a larger, stronger shield that can stun, as well as Brigida receiving 100 armor while the ultimate is active. The difference between overhealth and armor is that overhealth cannot be healed. Once you take damage, it goes away. However, armor can be healed, and if the other healer on the team helps the Brigida, she will be nigh unkillable. I personally am frightened and interested in what this new Brigida ult and possibly meta will look like. Mercy is getting her changes reverted from the Season 3 patch. This change includes a lot of things I cannot list here, so I have attached the full patch notes in the description if you would like to see all the changes for Mercy and the other heroes that I was not able to list here. With the release of Starwatch in mid-Season 4, Overwatch will be receiving its first look at PvE gameplay. Although Starwatch is not completely PvE, the game mode will include PvE aspects in the PvP game mode. We don't have much information on this mode, but when more information gets uploaded, I'll be sure to share it on my channel, so be sure to subscribe if you want updates or news about the future of Overwatch. This section consists of many parts which I will not be able to list in this video. If you would like to see all the changes, be sure to check the description for all these changes in a more detailed fashion. The matchmaker for quick play will now prioritize finding players closer to the skill level of other players in the match. This will result in slightly longer queue times, but also better, more even quick play matches. Starting season 4, the suspension for leaving games will no longer reset at the start of every season. This means that during an earlier Overwatch season, if you left the game and got a suspension, it would get reset at the start of the next season. Now, if you leave a game, you will be suspended and will not reset at the start of a new season. I personally am mildly concerned about this as there may need to be a separation between intentional disconnects such as leaving the game or closing the application mid-game versus an unintentional disconnect such as Wi-Fi or power cutting out. Let's see how the situation gets sorted in the future during Season 4. Along with this change, leaving a competitive game will now have a more severe effect and impact on a player's skill tier and division after you complete a set of 5 wins. Although we do not know how severe, we can assume it is now going to count as worse than a loss for leaving a game in the eyes of the matchmaker. Finally, the map rotation will be gone. This means that you'll be able to join any map when you're in queue rather than specifically chosen ones. I like this change a lot since it'll bring a lot more variety to the games than there already was. Again, all of these changes are listed in the description of the video, so if you want them all in more depth, 
go check that out after the video. This section will include all of the changes that will affect competitive game modes in Season 4, excluding the changes which were previously mentioned. The number of competitive points rewarded for a win in competitive game modes has been increased from 15 to 25. Alongside this, the number of competitive points earned from seasonal challenges based on your final seasonal rank has also been updated. All of the competitive point changes are on screen right now. There will be separated competitive titles for users who achieved a rank in open queue versus roll queue. This is significant as users used to be able to go into open queue and receive a fairly high rank, thereby completing the requirement for the title of that rank. Now users who receive diamond in open queue will receive the diamond open challenger title and users who receive diamond in roll queue will receive the diamond roll challenger title. This change will stop users for, who play open queue from getting a high rank title and showing them off as if it was in roll queue. The initial loading screen that shows all the participants of competitive matches will now show an icon at the top of the screen representing the average skill tier and division of all the players in that match. This change should provide players with a better comparison of their own rank compared to the other players in the match. Seasonal rank decay is going to be removed. This means that at the start of a new season, your rank will not be reduced at the beginning of the new season. Alongside this, the effects of rank decay from previous seasons will be removed. At the start of Season 4, we can expect a significant increase in ranks across the board, presuming you've played Overwatch before Season 3. The competitive progress and competitive update screens will now include information about a player's losses and ties as well as their wins. The competitive update screen will now also provide players with an indication of their current percentage progress within a skill division. This will hopefully make it more clear how the results of the 5 win system affects your rank. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned everything you need to know going into Season 4. I upload videos like this every time there's a new patch, so if you're excited about that, be sure to subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you're most excited about in this season. Until next time, see ya gamers.